I'm gonna tell you some things that you need to keep in mind to keep your YouTube account safe, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. If you're a regular viewer and you're seeing this on live streaming day, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not streaming today and I'll get into that later, but I wanna share with you some things that you need to keep in mind to make sure that your YouTube account is safe. Number one, it's extremely important no matter where you are in the process on YouTube, YouTube that you make sure that you read and understand the YouTube terms of service. The reason for this is if you do not read or understand the YouTube terms of service, you might be doing things that are violating the YouTube terms of service and you don't even know about it. Also, by knowing what it is that they expect from you, what it is that they are okay with you doing, what it is that it's not okay for you to do, that gives you the ammo that you need and the understanding that you need to make sure that you're putting out content that is you know, acceptable by the YouTube terms. Another thing that you need to do, and again, I'm gonna put links to all of this stuff down in the description below, but another thing that you need to make sure that you keep in mind is to make sure that you're following the copyright policies on YouTube. You may have heard the myth that you can use any music on YouTube as long as you use under five seconds of it. Well, that's a myth, right? And it's really important that you understand that there's a lot of things that people talk about on all over the internet, so to speak, that are myths, but are not necessarily true about YouTube. So educating yourself on what is and what is not acceptable on YouTube can really help protect your channel in the long term. because the last thing that you wanna do is put all of this work into your channel and then for whatever reason, have the whole channel taken away or have aspects of the channel taken away. Number three, community guidelines. You want to make sure that you are following the YouTube community guidelines to a T. You do not want to ride the line. You do not want to do anything that is going to risk violating the YouTube community guidelines. Now this includes, but is not limited to the obvious stuff like nudity or sexual content, harmful or dangerous content, we know that, hateful content, which in a nutshell means that you do not want to attack a person or a group of people for any reason whatsoever. Disagreeing is different than that, but actually attacking people and slandering people and things like that, that is definitely a no-no. You obviously wanna refrain from violent or graphic content. You do not want to participate in harassment or cyberbullying, and that includes in your video content, in the comment section, sending people messages or anything like that. You do not want to use spam or misleading metadata, and this can even include like small things that you might not think of. As an example, if you are using someone else's channel name in your tags, but you're not like talking about them or anything like that, your video doesn't have anything to do with them, you're just trying to use that to get into their, to try to get into their suggested or something like that, that's misleading metadata. Threats, of course, are without question not accepted anywhere on the platform or anywhere in real life, really. Copyright, which we all know about, and privacy. Now, this is one that some people might not really think of, but this is also huge. You know, you wanna make sure that you're not putting any personal information of other people on your YouTube channel. You do not want to impersonate anybody in any way, shape, or form. As an example, you do not wanna go and start a YouTube channel called Nick Nimmin and then go on there claiming that you are me. Not only would that not be cool, but it would also be against the community guidelines on YouTube. Child endangerment, of course, is a no-no. If you are a vlogger or if you're making any type of content that involves kids in any way, shape, or form, you do not want to put them in harm's way by any, like not even a little bit in harm's way. I know that kind of goes without saying, but you know, it's the internet and people do a lot of crazy things on the internet. Another one that people don't really think about is they also have a restriction on language. So if you are using vulgar language, um, it's not necessarily a violation per se, but it is something that will make your videos or can make your videos get marked as age restricted. And another thing that you definitely do not want to do is you do not want to encourage other people to violate the YouTube terms of service in any way, shape, or form. Now, in addition to all of this, learning how to use the platform just in general, right? You have channels like mine, you have channels like all of the people in my sidebar on my channel page, but YouTube themselves also give information, kind of like an instruction manual of sorts, their YouTube Creator Academy, on how to actually use their platform, best practices and things like that. If you're serious about YouTube and you're going to be a YouTuber, it's really important that you go through that academy it's free that you go through that academy and that you learn what it is that they expect from you so that you make sure that you're using the platform properly. So keep it clean, keep it safe out there, folks. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you 
next time.